Francis. Well, today my sermon topic is already written on the board. Why be a Christian? Very simple question, but it's a very important one. Just now that we have a Rakinta, read to us the scripture reading from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2 to 5. Although it is, a, it is a advice from Paul to Timothy to preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, but it's applicable to every one of us who are Christians. Uh, we have to convince, we have to rebuild and exhort, and all these things have to do with long suffering and teachings. Because a lot of people, as is mentioned in verse 3, for a time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desire. Because their teaching years, they will keep up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But ye be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the works of evangelists, fulfill your ministry. This particular question, why be a Christian, is very important. Firstly, let us look at the word Christians. It's actually uh, mentioned in the book of Acts chapter 11, verse 26, and the disciple was first called Christians in Antioch. So the follower of Christ, the disciples, these are called Christians. And so if you are followers, if you follow the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, then you are known as Christians. But why be a Christian? Why be a Christian? What is your answer? Your answer actually is very important. Your answer could be just because your parents are Christian, you follow them and become a Christian. It's because your loved one is a Christian, that's why you follow them be a Christian. Or is it because you're a boy or girl that you want uh, to be friends, that why you come to church and become a Christian? Or is it because of opportunity, because of there are friends around there, uh, opportunity for business that you become Christians? Or is it because you join the church or a club that you want activities, you want fun, you look for uh, maybe Merry Christmas, you look for certain activity that you enjoy and that's why you become Christians? Because your answer can, uh, is very important, it indicates whether you will devote your life in which area, where you will spend your time in as a Christian, will you be surrendering your life to who or to really Jesus Christ. In the book of Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 to 21 tells Jesus uh, tells in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 to 21, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth. That's what everyone out of the world is doing, friendly speaking, everyone as much as possible if they can get it, okay? But Jesus said, do not lay up for yourself treasure on earth, where move and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. And that's why you see houses all have a lot of locks because they have so much thing. They are worried of thief. Okay? Verse 20, but lay up for yourself travelers in heaven where neither move nor rust destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where the treasure is, there your heart will also be. So when this particular question is being asked, why be a Christian? If we can give a good reason when you have the feeling, when you make the right decision, that particular crucial moment, then you will be a really good Christian. It's just like uh, before you've been uh, uh, asked to go for undergo an operation, uh, just like brother Hansing or whatever, who? That's just a big crucial moment, you know, decision to make whether do you trust the doctor or not. Do you think that he can do a good job? Will you be able to survive after the operation? It is like that. Will you be why you be a Christian? Because that is a crucial decision in your life. Because is whether you really want to continue your life, to dedicate, dedicate your life to our Lord Jesus Christ. It's like those who before they want to get married, there is a hard decision for them to make, you know, whether you really want to follow that but the, uh, uh, man or lady for whom life can you stay with the person. Or oh, for those people who, who are uh, having investment in a whatever, do you or are you willing to sell all they have and buy certain things because you think that that is the greatest? Do you have that uh, decision to make? Okay. So, of course, recently we have our Mandarin Gospel meeting. It was a great success. But knowing this answer, why being a Christian can help us to 
preach effectively. Because if we ourselves, calling ourselves Christians, not able to find good reason why we are Christians, how can we, with joy, you know, with uh, lively, with our uh, high spirit, determined, and with iron and zeal, can preach the word? How can people be persuaded to come to church if you don't have good reason for being a Christian? Of course, today, this morning, we are very happy. We have Sister Janice now, and we have uh, uh, Sister Tay, okay? Join church. But when we have good answer, we are Christians, we will be more successful in reaching out and being more so for God. In the book of Acts chapter 26, Acts chapter 26, you can read an account where Paul preached. And he gave his account and this time to King Agrippa in uh, Acts chapter 26. And in Acts chapter 26, verse 27 to 29, it, it comes, uh, it reads in this manner. Acts chapter 26, verse 27, King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know that you do believe. Verse 28, let Agrippa say to Paul, you almost persuaded me to become Christians. And Paul said, I want to God that not only you, but also all who hear me today might become both almost and all together such as I am, except for this change. Okay? Because it was being bound. So, we need to persuade. We need to convince rebuild just like the security mentions. Then only people will want to follow Christ. But how can we persuade and convince unless we ourselves know the answer very well. And our answer is so powerful and so strong that you can remain to be faithful to the end. Because being a Christian today doesn't mean that another year or, or, or two you continue to become Christians if you don't have a strong reason for being a Christian. It's very important for you to know why we are Christians. So I uh, today this sermon I'm going to offer uh, some uh, reasons. You may have more than this, but I'm going to offer seven reasons why we have to be a Christian. Why be a Christian? Reason number one: following Jesus will lead us to the source of meaning of life. Okay, many people seek answer for this uh, source of life. Where is it from? What they ought to do? They seek all sorts of possible sources to, to get. Uh, happiness, and uh, they spend so much time on in it. And uh, I remember those days before I was a Christian, I followed my mom, I just followed them, uh, uh, Buddhist teaching, and I saw them, they are like joining association, joining club, I have you know, a lot of activities here, gymnastics, and singing and dancing, and all of a but I can't uh, get the answer. How it all started, where it begins, how life begins. But Christianity, God loved mankind, gave birth, the Bible, His Word, recorded how it all begins. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And at the, at the end, there is God said, everyone will be judged. It's all recorded in the Bible. So, we are Christians because we know following Jesus, the only Son of God, we will be led to the source and meaning of life. From the Bible, we know the purpose. I like this after saying, by this uh, person to say that life is too precious to waste, to spend on anything but the best. Indeed, our life is very short. So don't waste it. Time is precious. If we turn to the Lord, John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verse 6. John chapter 14, verse 6, a very uh, famous verse. In that particular verse, Jesus said, to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So here we know that the reason of being a Christian is because Jesus had the way. Jesus had the way. We won't have to stumble to know how to go in life, how to live as a, a, a person. We won't need to walk in darkness. We have the light. Okay? We, we know how to live on earth, what we need to prepare in this earth, in this life. And Jesus also said, He is the truth. So we know what is the precious things in life, rather than people say so and you're trying out and find it. No, that's not what you want finally. 
Okay, so what is important in life, you can find the truth, not uh, fables or, or, or things that everyone is searching for. And in it, we have an abundant life, we will be truly living and we have eternal life. Okay, reason one is that we can have eternal life and it's not temporarily. Who don't want eternal life? Tell me. My brother Hanse or Sister Negi, who is having cancer, want to continue. It's possible. If God's permit, live longer. 